School in Journalism. And how to be joined by the Stony Point High School 2017 Teacher of the Year, Rebecca Plumley. How are you? I'm good, and you? Excellent. So, tell us, what is high school journalism? High school journalism is an opportunity for my students to be able to explore all the dimensions of print journalism and some online journalism now as well. I love the fact that my students get to go talk to other individuals, find out things about the school that they wouldn't know otherwise, and more importantly, tell the stories of our people. Why should kids be involved in learning the, the, the correct style to be able to tell a news story? The fact that we have Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat, that we're telling stories but we're not necessarily tell them, telling them adequately, fully, or sometimes truthfully. And I think that that's one of the most important things that they gather from this class is simply that they understand the legal bounds of what they say. What's your favorite part of this? Oh, most definitely the kids. Uh, I couldn't see myself doing anything else simply because I get to watch students not only embrace the stories of others, but then embrace their own stories. And by the time they walk out of here, they understand how important someone's voice is, mm -hmm. how, some, how important someone's features are, and then they can even capture their own. And at that point, they've captured my heart and the heart of others, and there couldn't be a better place to be. So now we're going to take a look at how a story makes its way into The Prowler, and I am proud to be joined by the editor-in-chief of The Prowler, Rebecca Macias. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. For our little video here to show how a story makes its way through The Prowler, you were given a particular subject that we could sort of take from beginning to a full feature. Tell us about that. We wanted to cover outside sources of Brown Rock ISD in the district. And so we had discovered you, and we discovered that you were the first uh, video manager on the district. And so we thought, why don't we cover something like that? What is the purpose of the of an interview? Are you going for a particular angle, or do you just have a bunch of questions? We kind of just had a very broad aspect of just background knowledge of what you did. And once we went back and we had all of our information typed up and together, we thought, okay, we're kind of have some missing holes here. We didn't really partake in questions on how you were involved in the district or what certain things are you allowed to cover. As we've pinpointed all of the information we have, we realized that we had two different sets of stories that we could cover. The really featurey part that we had was the fact of your passion for Disney and your passion for storytelling and how your love for Disney is so much that it goes into you know your storytelling and how you want to create your videos. The news part that we figured out and we laid out is we realized that you know the district and how y'all want to cover and y'all want to really grow you know the district and how the schools need to really send in stuff to the school like hey this is what's going on, on our campus this needs to be covered the prowler does a does a good job at including infographics how did the infographic of my particular story go what was the process of coming up with that idea you had talked about you know your favorite rides and stuff so one of the rides that you had mentioned was the pirates of the caribbean so we thought about what if we did like this piratey treasure map type of theme and we created using that layout and we made it as like a timeline from your starting point of when you graduated from college and then the ending point to where you're covering us now and that's like the X marks the spot as the treasure. You talk about your experience in this particular program, in this room with these people and how that is going to hopefully help you, you know, in, in your future. Honestly, it, this program has definitely shaped me to the person I am today. I really wouldn't be the person I am without, you know, Plumlee and being here. Coming into this program my freshman year, I was definitely not the type to go and talk to people. And so now it's like I walk through the hallways and I'm not afraid to talk to anybody. And I'm not afraid to speak my voice. And I wouldn't be able to do that. I think uh, after this experience, you'll, you'll, you'll do pretty well. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> To look at how the news story developed, we're going to go to Delilah Rivera. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Excellent. So, what was your role in developing the, the news story about me for The Prowler? So, what I had to do is basically almost the same thing as Rebecca did, find the layout and find the angle for the story. Instead of like focusing on the more emotional kind of stuff, we go more into the, this is what's going on, and this is why you should know about it, and this is why you should care. How did you start to develop that actual story. It's almost like a little puzzle. Mm -hmm. We make the transitions and the quotes and stuff and we find all the statistics that we need to know that go with your quotes and we just basically incorporate it into one story but we also make sure it has that angle and it has also the little hook to get our readers in. You also did the, the layout and design too yes. on this one. Can you show us that? Yes. What's that look like? This is the layouts. Here is the news story and that is basically talking about you and the videos that you'll be making mm -hmm. and the um, 
little show that you're going to do on our school called the Hall Pass, and that's giving the statistics and background info on Round Rock ISD. And then at the bottom, we decided to do something which is basically a little editorial slash news piece, which mm -hmm. is saying, like, why should you start making videos or why should other schools start making videos? Because it's basically trying to get other readers. So then we made a photo cluster just to show how you are and like what you do, the processes. We have a few of Jennifer setting up the camera. So She's shaking there's her head. that. <laughs> <laughs> and so then of course we always want to incorporate infographics just to give it a little sparkle and stuff like that. And so here are some more statistics on how parents and students like to use social media to connect and here's one on making a successful video on your own. How has this experience in this classroom prepared you for your next steps into, into college? Through this, I have learned so many skills just like on the computer and soft skills that yeah, I need like to talk to people and just working through problems that I usually wouldn't work through. And I feel like it's totally prepared me. I feel like Plumlee has totally helped me and prepared me. And I just, uh, because of her in this program, I feel ready to go out into the world. She's pretty good, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She's great. Well, uh, good luck. Congratulations. Thank you, thank thank you thank for, you. was I an interesting topic? Yes. <laughs> my, my mom would thank you. So. <laughs> okay. That's all we have.